Well, good afternoon. I'm Paul McGowan, and thank you for joining me. Let's see. What do we have? To pet my nipper dog. He is cool. Ronald from the Netherlands. How come you say spinning CDs sounds better than music servers? While at the same time, PS Audio's memory player converts spinning music first into a memory buffer so that the player is, in fact, acting like a music server. That's, that's a really good question. I can tell you that these things go like seesaws. For the longest time, when we first came out with our bridge years and years ago, it was definitely better than anything spinning on a disc. And then there came a period where music ripped to a hard drive sounded better than anything streaming or spinning. And then that changed and we're at a point now where spinning a disc in a dedicated device like the direct stream memory player that you're referring to that runs it through a RAM buffer sounds better than any server that we've been able to put our hands on and that I've ever heard. I suspect that those watching this video within months of now will say, oh, <laughs> that must have been back then because right now that's not the case. It seesaws back and forth and I don't have a really definitive answer. I can give you some guesses as to why that is true. Currently, the direct stream memory player is the best that I've heard because it is using less in the way of resources, computer resources, in order to uh, pr present its signal. Okay, so there's a complete separate mechanical transport. It puts it into a dedicated RAM buffer that we have physically isolated from all that mechanism, and we've paid great attention to outputting that digital audio signal with as little noise and jitter as is humanly possible. Now compare that to a server. In a current model of server today, you essentially have a computer in a box, right? So let's just be clear what a server is. A server is just a dedicated CPU, uh, whether it's a Linux box or a, an Intel board, Whatever it is, you have a, a hard drive perhaps, or, or, or perhaps it's one that doesn't have a hard drive. But in any case, you have a central processing unit that is, is quite powerful in general and fairly noisy. And so as it's running and doing all of its stuff, it's adding noise to the power supply, radiated noise that gets into the output stage, and all of that raises jitter levels. We've managed to avoid that in the direct stream memory player, so optical disks and SACDs played in there at this moment sound better than any other digital source that I am aware of. And that could change. We're working on a server currently that hopefully gets rid of that problem. We're building what we call little dog houses, so little metal isolation shields that shield from RF and our initial uh, measurements on it so far aren't very good. <laughs> this is why engineering is fun. We'll get there, but it's going to take a lot of work to physically and electrically and galvanically isolate everything from everything with the, the hope and the holy grail being that whatever the CPU or the device that is processing the digital signal is doing, its noise interference and power supply perturbations stay over here and the output has a pristine jitter-free digital signal that goes through unaffected by this. That's where we want to get to. That's what we're working on and working hard on it, but we're not there. And DMP at the moment is as close as we've been able to get. Hope that answers your question. Thanks. Talk to you. Thank you.